Good morning. Um, hope you all had a fantastic weekend. This is Lorena Carr here for Daily Vibe Check. Um, it is Monday, October 12th. Um, hope you all had a good weekend. I know here in Indiana it was beautiful um, most of the time. And it was nice to get outside. Maybe do a few. I got a few more decorations done for Halloween. So anyone who knows me knows that I am all in on Halloween and not even because of the spiritual stuff, but I just really like to decorate and I love how it brings communities together. And uh, I just get really excited when, when, uh, when communities come together, when families come together and it's always fun. So, so our daily vibe check today, let's see, I'm going to actually try things a little bit different. I'm going to try doing a layout um, first, instead of going through each card from front to back, or like as going through each card's meaning as we go. So we'll try a little bit different, and then we'll do some clarifying cards. But first of all, let's see what, you know, let's ask Spirit for information for our greatest and highest good. What's going to help us become, be better humans this week, better members of society, Keeping in mind that we got Mercury and Mars retrograde action issues going on. What can we, what's it good for us to know that's coming, that's going to cross our path so we can be prepared for it? Okay, so. <clears throat> okay. Clarifying cards here. Okay. So, make sure I get all the right cards here. Yes, I have to wear reading glasses and I don't want to discuss it. Um, so for, I love, I love this. I, I feel like there's a lot of mess, a lot of big messages with this, with this reading. So the seven of pentacles comes up as the recent past or, you know, the, the very first card here. Um, so seven of pentacles tells me you may have recently gone through, um, a situation where there's a shift or there's something going on at work, like, or, or something where you're putting in a lot of time and energy to something um, and, or you're not, or someone around you is not. Um, it could mean maybe you got let go from your job or you were, you were off from your job for a little bit. So, so it's kind of that, that overall, that's the vibe, that's the vibe. And you may or may not be able to hear my dog Loki growling in the background. It's hilarious. She's like this big, okay. There might be somebody existing outside. We can't have that. Okay. So in the present, we've got the two of pentacles reversed. And this tells me that maybe as a result of whatever this situation was, either being laid off or, or let go or something, or maybe like if you're a commissioned worker, sales down, or if you're a server, like the tips just aren't going as well. But in you maybe you had been juggling your finances, but in the present, it's kind of like, okay, things are, things are picking up a little bit. Okay, things are getting a little bit better. Now, the situation is the Ten of Cups. This, I love this cup, this, this, um, this card, because it is all about joy um, and, and family. And, and remember, family can be just the people that you surround yourself with, with that lift you up. Um, and so the situation is, I feel like is family. So you were, may have been stressed out because you weren't quite sure how you were going to provide for the family necessarily, or if you could, it could, it could be emotional support or it could be financial support. The suggestion is to seven of cups reversed. When it is upright, you see everything is foggy and there's so many options. When it's, when it's turned upside down, it's saying, make a decision. The fog is clearing 
and something is coming your way and you're going to know exactly what direction to go. And in the end, you're going to have the six of wands, which is literally the victory card. Okay. It's winning. It's feeling like it's that, that feeling of, okay, I got this. I got this. I worked hard and I'm being rewarded for it. So now the, the clarifying card. So the recent past clarifying card is the high priestess. So this tells me that there was an intuitive decision in this. Maybe this wasn't, maybe, maybe you knew this was coming or maybe you knew it was for the best. So intuitively you were, you knew something about this situation. And then the seven of pentacles upright is in the present, oh, the clarifying the juggling card. So that would tell me that you have offers on the table. You've got things that are lined up, making you feel a little more secure in your situation. Um, I love all these pentacles. And then, you know, the situation being the three of swords, which is kind of like a divorce card. So I really feel like this is, again, if this doesn't resonate with you, no stress. It's not always meant for every single person. But I feel like this is really pointing to a situation where it, you knew, you knew you had to get out. You knew it was not a healthy situation and you were just juggling too much. And in the present, you're working towards a better, a better situation. And with this, it, you know, as the, the joy card would then like clarified with the three of swords, it's telling me that you made the right decision. Whatever has happened, whatever the situation, it's okay. It's supposed to be this way. Then the advice along with the, with the seven of cups reversed is strength. So it's saying, you know what? Be strong. Spirit wants you to be strong through this. They have your back. You've got an infinite connect, a divine in, infinite connection to the other side, and they are here to help you. You know, make your decision, choose, um, choose your path with confidence because no matter what your, what your lay is laid out in front of you, you can't go wrong. And I think intuitively, you know, what's going on. And then I love this too, because the six of wands, you know, your winning card is clarified with the two of cups. So the two of cups is a partnership in relationships. It would be, um, maybe a marriage. Um, it would be, you know, in a, in a business, it would be a new partnership. So this is the joining of relationships. It's that next level from the Ace of Cups, which is new relationships, new energy, new action, you know, new feelings. And so by getting out, by staying strong, by looking at your choices, you're going to be able to stay strong. You're going to stay strong and you're going to benefit. So if this is a job situation, that means you're going to be in a new in new relationships, um, partnering with other people to be successful. Okay, so let's go on to the journey card. So we'll do the soul's journey. All right. Let's see what this card says. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. I love this card. For this particular spread. So this tells me that um, whatever the situation is, I feel like you're, this is just more of a validation than anything. Um, maybe there were some big decisions made this weekend, or there was just some things that happened that make you go, you know, I am so thankful for these opportunities. I'm thankful for the past because they've helped me become who I am in the present. And now it's time to move forward. And I'm so grateful. So I love this gratitude card. Um, let's do one more Oracle card. This is a great reading this morning. I gotta figure out how it applies to me though. I never think of that until later. I always do them and post them, but then I don't really actually pay attention to them for myself. Maybe they're not meant for me. Maybe they're meant for people who watch all five or six of you intelligence. Intelligence. I believe this came up over the weekend. It's a great card because it says, you know, you are smarter than what you give yourself credit for, more than likely. And 
in your mind, you are smart enough to know that whatever this decision is, whatever's going on, you can respect your own intelligence. You can respect your mind. You can, you have the, the, um, the knowledge base, the intelligence to, to be confident in this decision that you've made um, or that you are making, or that if you're not quite sure, like you're like, oh gosh, I mean, I've got this, this opportunity, do I do it? Yes, if you're asking and you're not sure, yes, this is your sign, you're welcome. All right, so I hope this was helpful and um, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you subscribe and then get notifications of, um, I do these every day and no, they don't always apply specific to, um, to exact situations that I give examples on, but I think it, the reason I call it daily vibe check is because it gives an overall vibration. So this scenario, this basic scenario could be relationship. It could be job. Um, it could be um, a decision even on a, on a vacation situation, you know, just it's basically you're trying to make a decision. There's some things that have had to shift and change going forward. Be confident. Spirit has your back. Um, so exciting things coming up. Keep an eye out on the, all our, on my social media, um, because we're going to be uh, making some really fun announcements coming up. October 25th, we have a really, it's a really exciting day for us. So the week before Halloween. And uh, so be sure to follow us at, at Spiritual Insight Network. Us, me, whatever. Yeah, us. Because there's two other people on board now and I'm super excited about this. And um, can't wait to bring you all of the magic and all the fun. All right, I've rambled on enough, but it's Monday. It's fine. I'm sure tomorrow will be much shorter. Um, have a fantastic day, have a fantastic week, and know that spirit's got your back, and just be grateful. Just be grateful. It's a good life, and it's a good day. Have a good one. Bye.